So here we are, welcome in uh, Sports Road, Don Reiner, late 2024 Hong Kong Football Club 10s. Yes, pretty, pretty, good. pretty exciting, mate. Pretty exciting. Good to have you here. Yeah, long time no see, mate. Where have you been? So uh, we've got PNG, National PNG side, I understand. Uh, they're kicking off, going from left to right, and uh, they're up against. Ah. Shogun, which is the ex-Samurai side, 25 years uh, playing in Hong Kong, uh, a great side, and it's going to be an interesting one, this one, between two sides. Yeah, I think so. Shogun uh, didn't take the ball cleanly, so we'll have a line out on the 10-yard mark. They won't be happy with that. No, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a nervous start uh, there, Don. Well, I think they're all interested to see how the uh, Shogun go, because as uh, Samurai, they've been runners-up and winners and... Uh, for about the last 10 years. They've always been very, very competitive and must be one of the favourites. Ball in, comes out Shogun side, up to the first receiver, moving along the back line. They're looking to just use the ball here. Got an overlap on the outside. Got a guy with a bit of speed. What, what happens here? The two of them take him down. Ball looking for a quick recycle. Ball goes to ground, holding on. Good D, good D from PNG. And there's a bit of talk back. Referee having none of that. Let's have a ten. Let's we'll have a ten-yard advantage, and they'll take a kick to the corner and go for the line out and the first real attacking opportunity for PNG. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's early doors yet, but uh, the, what we were trying to work out is that the PNG team is almost a national side. Yeah, um, and uh, so that will always produce some fantastic. I mean, I uh, see players. they're. Um, you know, the Shogun are, are, are eighth and PNG are fifth in terms of seeding. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Comes back on the side of Shogun. Big carry up the middle. Strong carry. Ball to ground. Again, very messy in there. Referee says, no, you weren't on the wrong side of the ball. Trying to clear it out with your hand. So advantage to Shogun. Looking to kick it to the corner, have a settler, and that'll come out on the 10 yard mark in PNG territory. Yeah, I don't think you'll see the lovely, referees. Lovely conditions here, Don. Yes. I don't know, uh, about 25, 26 degrees, nice breeze, flags are flying, not too much direct sunlight. Yeah, pretty good day to be playing rugby, I'd have thought yeah. myself. Uh, so, uh, ball into the line out right in front of us here. PNG not taken cleanly, tidied up by the 10. Gives it out to the 12. He's a strong runner. Big strapping lad. Beats two. Still going. Ball to ground. Oh. Unfortunately, the Shogun 9. I think he had a bit, a little bit of a look there, Don, instead of just going ball first. Well. And uh, knock on. That'll be a PNG scrum. So a few... A few early sort of nervous little little errors yeah. creeping, I, I, into, creeping into the game. Nil nil at the moment. I think a lot of it is Three they're an gone. invitational side and they're they're getting to know their teammates. Yeah, I mean that's you know that's always a tricky one, right? They come in sort of pretty, you know, pretty late in the week. Uh, sorry, in the in the in the uh, the previous week they come in and they don't have a lot of time together. So it's a very short time frame to you know learn each other and see how they're going to play, right? Yeah, Good kick so. down there from PNG, well taken at the back by Shogun. Long pass to this fast, hard-running centre. That looked like slightly forward, and yeah. yes, it was. Boys will come back. Referees called it forward. Boys will come back. Yeah, getting yeah. back to that. So, yeah, that gelling, gelling the team early yeah. on in the week. That's it's 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 as important as. Yeah, as, you know, you, you developing could, the skills and, and the rest of it, right? I think you could tell that his positioning was a bit wrong, a bit ahead yeah, with the pass. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think, you know, give a couple of games, you won't see that again. Yeah, yeah. So scrum goes down here, PNG put in. Three yards south of halfway. Referee says no. Don't need to say square, boys. So you know we've got a we've got a got a bit of a crowd in here and on, on our side, Don. It's yeah, uh, people it's starting not... to come in, teams. No, I think it's looking it... a bit of a picture, isn't it? Well, it's a holiday um, tomorrow, so I think you'll find a lot of people coming in, in into the tents. It's a beautiful day. It's filling up nicely. 
uh, and it's and it's a holiday tomorrow. So what have you got to lose? For sure, scrum in ten decides he's going to have a kick put into the corner, looking for a 50-22. What does the referee say? Just short, literally quarter of a metre short. Um, for their own put into the line out, so it'll be Shogun putting it into the line out on the 22 mark. We've got our first set of uh, subs coming on the interchange. Shogun pulling the trigger first. Three new players on, three players off, so they're looking to put a bit of energy into into their pack early on to try and get themselves an advantage. Just wait here while they work out the numbers. Time back on. Ball in, nice clean take. The nine decides to hit the 12. Again, being very strong earlier on. This fellow, the Shogun. Sorry, guys, we don't have team lists at the moment, so I can't tell you exactly who it is. Uh, but that said, he's, uh, he's running hard and fast. Now looking to move the ball very quickly, Shogun making some good yardage right up to halfway, yes, giving it to Speedy ooh. Winger, but he, he just gets caught on the 10-yard mark. Again, looking to recycle, there's not a lot of P&G players back, so they'll be looking for a, an overlap here, and they uh, get it. Nice to and that's a great seed, number five in the corner. First try of the game. That's, uh, yeah, that, that was worked very well. They created the space and, and drew the, the uh, Papua New Guinea yeah. side across the pitch nicely and created space. So, so you know, Shogun here to play, here to play, right? Yeah, I'd, uh, as you were saying, that maybe a bit rusty in the first couple of minutes, but uh, picking up now. Um, I don't think PNG are putting much pressure on them, but they'll they'll appreciate the chance just to get to know each other. So, kick from the sideline not successful. Shogun 5, PNG 0. And we've got three minutes, just under three minutes, 15 to go in the first half. That's quite a breeze at the moment. So, I think PNG had that to their, their advantage, Don. You'd be thinking they'd want to use that. Well, yeah, it, it, so when I was out there earlier, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it, it's picked up a bit. Uh, nice win by Shogun. Get the ball, get their own ball back. Moving it, moving it from winger to winger. Goes in, hard tackle, recycled. Ten decides to take it up. They're now getting into a little bit of structure, Shogun. And there he is again, the big yeah. half part runner. He's taking shrugging one off, shrugging two off. The shrugging three off. Can he go all the way? He's just, just uh, that little bridge too far. Little bridge too far, otherwise he would have been in. That was a great run. It was a great run. And pretty he, dangerous, that boy. It was <laughs> not bad to go through three tackles and then just fail at the end and all the glory would go to the back as normal. But um, uh, like you were saying, there's a, they're starting to put a bit of structure. They're creating overlaps. Um, yeah, this is, this, I suppose this is where they'll kick on from. Yeah, so PNG scrum on their own line. They'll be looking to try and exit this pretty quickly, I would imagine. Let's see how these two packs go down. Remember, there's only f it's ten, so there's only five in the scrum on each side. PNG hold the weight. Back to the ten, and a good release. Uh, we apologise yeah, for that little bit of um, colourful language there on the commentary, but um, <laughs> sorry on the field, but. Um, Anyway, uh, P and G get a defensive defensive penalty, so yeah, they'll be able to release some pressure. You're not allowed to break up from the five-man scrum. Uh, that's part of a it's a part, major part of the rules because you want to keep the the uh, five tied tied in uh, to create space beyond, and then that's a, a major part of a tens yeah. tournament rule. Yeah. So still only five nil to Shogun, so it's P and G. I think they'll be quite happy about that at this stage. Still defending their own line, though. Nice ball to the back. They go to ground, looking to recycle. 
Ball up in the air, charged down, but regathered by PNG. What, can, what are they looking to do? Yeah, they're moving it wide. Little step and go. And he gets the ball away, but not held. <laughs> what does the referee say? Yeah, he's saying a little knock on, little advantage. So the advantage to Shogun on the 22. They'll have an attacking scrum. They've got time. 22 seconds yeah. left in the half. Yeah. Uh, I think for a team like uh, Shogun, they'll be looking uh, to nail it here. They really would expect to have more on the board at this stage, especially given how much possession they've had. Uh, but they, I think they've got the quality to add to the scoreline before half time. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, they always talk about those championship minutes, right? Either either side of half time, you know, it can make or break a team. So they'll be wanting to try and convert this into points. They've had a lot, most of the field position and most position and most of the field position, I should say, uh, in this game. And uh, I'd imagine their coach would be wanting to come off with uh, with more than just five for their efforts. So look likely to be the last player of the game. Ball comes back, it's quite messy. The half under pressure. PNG have done well here. But the referee says no, you kicked it out of his hands. So we're into so full time. get another no, chance, sorry, tap and go. Half. What can they do here? Looking to move it into the center. And reload to the right. Got their big man in the middle. Just trying to take take the take the meters up front, take the yardage. The nine's very active. But again, yeah. lost the ball in contact. PNG now looking to try and counter. Stuck on their 22. Looking to try and wrestle the way back out of it again. Really have made no yardage whatsoever. And here comes the kick, and they've said, nah, we've had enough of this. Yeah, I th I Let's think go that to half stare. time. <laughs> so there it is, half time. Yeah, Bit uh, of an error ridden half. As yeah. you say, two teams, you know, really just trying to find themselves. 5 0, Shogun PNG. What, yeah, what do you I, make I of that, Don? Uh, well, I think Shogun would be pretty uh, disappointed. As we said, they've had all the uh, possession and territory and really got just five points on the board. Um, one of the things in the. Um, women's games we compensated on earlier on is the halftime team talks seem to create a completely different match in the second half yeah and um well they've, so got, we'll a, they've got a chance right to sort of see you know they come out oh what's it like new players oh this is the tens in hong kong how's it going to feel what's it going to look like and then you know they get those early nerves out of their system and then they're like okay Okay, concentrate, we're on. No, we can do it, yeah, and I think so. And it, it, it's, you know, it, it must be incredibly hard. Uh, but let's not knock the Papua New Guinea side because they must have had more experience of playing together. And, uh, it, and uh, you know, they've certainly got some speedsters there and anything can happen, especially when it's only 5 0. Um, but I would expect a much stronger performance from Zoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think definitely some early nerves there and some, some you know, not mistakes. a lot of not a lot of structure yeah. as you as you know, I think you come to expect, you know, from you know, the likes of Fiji's and Samoa and Papua New Guinea and Tonga and so you know they're gonna they're gonna have to I mean, we love the flair, we love to see these guys. I mean it's just great to have these guys here. I mean I just think it's fantastic to have them represented here well, in Hong Kong. That's one of the joys of the tens is that you get people from all around the world playing rugby uh, and you get fantastic athletes and some perhaps shall we say less than good players and they all love the opportunity the the competition and the fun of playing against people you don't normally play against so that's one of the joys of the tens for the players totally agree totally agree so that's half time over boys have been rehydrated and uh, we're inter interesting with 5-0, Shogun 5. That, as, just to remind you, Shogun is uh, the old, what we knew as Samurai, and they are always there or thereabouts on day two, playing in the cup quarters, semis or final. Um, so they'll want to put on a bit of a show the second half. And I'm sure the coach has given them, reminded them that at halftime. PNG, well, they're just looking to 
you know, have a try and put a great second half together. Ball, good kick out, well taken by Shoga. Get their big runners into the fight very early. Now they're looking to move it in the centres. Some big boys there. Ball goes to ground. Nice Leaves clean out. High tackle that. Oh, that's good hands. Oh. Moving it into the middle. Going to the line. Great set of hands. Looking good. That's a, that's an emphatic start on second half for Shogun. Yeah, that, uh, well, as we were saying, uh, the team talks with the clearly and they've gone, keep it simple. Let's drive it up the middle and uh, keep supporting each other. And yeah. let's be fair, yeah. it's it sort of worked. Yeah. Conversion's good, so that takes us up to 12 nil Shogun. Uh, very early on, second half. And uh, yeah, uh, definitely a tactic to just take it up the middle, keep the ball alive, and uh, and I think wear this PNG side out. So that's more that's more like the the Shogun we we expect. Yeah, I think ball falls back onto onto PNG side. A couple of good steps there by this centre. He looks like he can shift. Ah. Oh, but we have a thief in the night. Come through the middle, stolen the ball, and gone under the posts. Yeah, that's uh, and uh, <laughs> that's two quick tries to Shogun. Well, wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Yeah, that's a, that's one of the uh, when you've only got ten on the pitch on your side and you you pop up in interceptions, uh, you've got a very good chance of losing five points straight away there. And uh, as so we just see the replay there. As you can see, strolls it over. Um, so another kickoff restart. Here we go again. Shogun, nice, cleverly taken back. PNG in the line though, and they've managed to get the ball back. Shogun just too quick, too too quick around the side of the mall there. Tap and go, PNG, looking to try and move it out of their own half, struggling a bit. Ball comes back, very sloppy, and giving the ball away to Shogun, who are just deciding to just run it up the middle again, same tactic. Now they're moving it wide, they've got numbers here on the left-hand side. Will he go on his own, will he move? He's moving it to the outsides. That's just, uh, that's classic tens uh, rugby dog. Yeah, I think the, the, the whole nature of the game has changed uh, in, what, a couple of minutes? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, talking about those half-time chats, <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I think definitely the Shogun coaches uh, said, hey, boys, come Maybe on. Maybe a couple of swear you, words, you Yeah, think? yeah, yeah. <laughs> get, get yourselves organised. <laughs> So, what do so you think? as we say, this is uh, uh, this is a uh, a pool B match, and remember the other two in this pool were Ashby Tropics and Chung Su Lions, and they had a they had a 14-all draw. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see who comes out of that um, well. out of that pool in terms of uh, the number two. Nice kick off again, but not taken cleanly by Shogun, so that's a knock on. They'll have a, another scrum down the 22 PNG ball. Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, it's always uh, seeing who the teams are. Uh, one of the other issues is with them being invitational. You're not quite sure if your favourite's going to be that good uh, and as good as they've been promising and things like that. So um, these early stages, you've, they're testing each other's out. You're, everyone's looking to see how you're going and everything else. But you don't want to be wasting your time putting 50 points in somebody uh, if it's just going to tire you out for later later matches in the tournament. So there are, there are some skill sets here. There's some egos running around the place. Uh, but of course, you've also got to worry about points differential. But, um, you know, from what I've seen, I, I would think Shogun are good enough to uh, get out of their pool. So, scrum down here, PNG, defensive scrum. Shogun, 26 0 lead, five minutes to go in the match. What can PNG do? They've got to create something. They're just getting caught in their own 22 line, struggling. Now it's recycled, trying to take it up the middle. Ball to ground, 
slow coming out, looking for runners. Shogun looking to counter Ruck. Again, very messy by PNG. Yeah, it is. So Shogun turn, turning defence into attack there. They're just they're, they're really smothering PNG and yeah, not, not allowing them to. A massive to, part of the uh, game is to, defense. To get any sort of. And putting pressure you know, on the defense. Or structure uh, to their game to be able to create any opportunities, Tom. Yeah, I, I, you can see uh, as soon as they put any pressure on PNG, the. Uh, knock-ons happen and they're dropping the ball and it is there which makes it easy for Shogun but um, it would be quite nice to see some PNG lads uh, getting a stride out with the ball yeah again another defensive strum look like they've got a bit more room to move here taking the ball wide winger slips over unfortunately and he's caught and that's a good counter ruck because they didn't have enough numbers there and unfortunately for PNG again they just turned the ball over and Shogun, well, they're too good a side not to take advantage of that. And they put another five-pointer on the board. Yeah, classic case of getting isolated, I think. Um, and again, uh, these are things you learn as your tens tax tactics and how not to get your guys isolated and keeping up your support. That's why it's so tiring, really, to play the, play the game. So three minutes 27 left on the clock. Still a lot of time in tens. Uh, let's see if PNG can put some points on the board. We're well, happy to just let that really just giving Shogun too much respect there. They now have the ball on the PNG 22, looking to recycle, lose it in the tackle. The PNG now have an opportunity here. What are they going to do? They just can't seem to clear it from the ruck. Now they do. Looking to move it. One off runner. S still on their 22. Still smothered by this very effective Shogun defence. Defensive line. Quick line speed. But that's a much better set of hands. But again... No PNG player there to take the ball, and it's recycled and turned over by Shogun, and they have men on the outside looking to run it in again, and they do quite comfortably. Yeah, so uh... again, PNG, you know, trying to put something together, you know, a little bit more creative, but Don, they just they're struggling with that, clearing it from the from the ruck, yes. uh, and just yeah. allowing. Just allowing that turnover ball and Shogun are too good a side not to convert, um, you know, turnover ball into points. So we're blown out to 38 points to nil yeah. with two minutes to go. Yeah, and I think, uh, as we said before, defence is also a tactic and a major part of the tens. And uh, Shogun are just warming up nicely into that, putting a, a small amount of pressure on it, and it's pretty much stopping PNG from doing anything. Yeah, and number seven from uh, from Shogun. Kicks a lovely uh, conversion from the sideline. We're now at 40. Shogun 40, PNG nil. One minute 28 left on the clock. PNG couldn't get that ball back, so Shogun again taking the ball up to the 22. They lose it in contact. Referee says there's a penalty there. Tackling without the ball. PNG. Quick tap. Taking it up the middle. Cre create another penalty. What have they got? They've given it to one of their big men. Again, losing the ball in contact, but it's gone backwards. Now they're starting to move the ball around a bit. Finally moving on to the outside to their wingers, who's not, he's smothered by two players. And again, that smothering defence... Uh, quick, quick throwing. No, referee says no. Yeah, we'll take that back. Uh, but yeah, that's that smothering defence is just really making it very difficult for PNG to get out of their 22. Yeah, Don. I think I think that tackle sums it up. Actually, uh, he should have had the chance to really knock the guy back and drive at him, and it actually was turned around exactly the opposite, and he yeah. ended up losing the ball, and putting it into touch, uh, uh, and yeah. Well, well done, Shogun. They've clearly got a lot of talent 
Yeah. Ball into the line out. Shogun win the ball. Nicely run onto in the centres. Ball to ground. Looking for a quick recycle and they've got it. Nine looking to go himself. Has a bit of a snipe. Gets the ball away. They've got numbers here. Three on two. Just moving oh. a ball wide again. Oh, but he's uh, no hands. Looking for soft hands there. They didn't come. A rare mistake. Second half by Shogun. Gives PNG the advantage. But they're still in their own 22. You know, Don, PNG, well, you know, they're going to, they now know they're in the tens. They now know, you know, they've, this will be, you know, this will be a, this will be a big lesson for them. You know, they'll go away. They'll, they'll reflect on it. Um, you know, tons of matches to go yet. You know, they'll get rehydrated, go up to the pool maybe. And, you know, they'll have to have a bit of a think about, you know, how they come out and what strategy they use in the next game. Yeah, I think, you know, that, as we sort of said before, the whole point about the tens is that you get to play and you get to play people several oh, we grades got a, above we've you. We've got a quick intercept here, looking to get it on the, on the on our own. What can we do here? Looking to move the ball, Fiji in style, but it's PNG style, taking it up the middle. Wow. But not... not Rep C says man on the ground, playing the ball on the ground, Shogun. So PNG again. They have a last opportunity to get some points on the board. Come on, guys. Let's see what they've got. Ball to ground, but they don't have the players there to win the ruck. The referee says no. That's, uh, that's a knock on, and that's full time. Shogun convincing winners in the end. 40 points to nil. Uh, and uh, what we've seen so far, and there are more teams to play, uh, that's uh, one of the best performances I've seen. And I think after a poor first half, I think the second half showing, I, I would have thought Shogun were pretty happy with that. Uh, so, uh, New teams coming onto the field. This is uh, this is a Pool C match. Uh, Morant Apache up against Taiku Place Scottish Exiles. Of course, Scottish Exiles, Scottish Hong Kong Scottish um, had a great season dawn this year. They'll be looking to you know stamp their mark on this early on this on this first on this 